Hi everyone, Dumpster Dolly here. This week's Tutorial Tuesday is going to be another nice Halloween tutorial for you. I have this look. I'm not quite sure what to call it, but I'll probably put something in the title there. Anyways, um, this look takes about an hour to do, I'd say, give or take. Um, I hope you enjoy the tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs> I prime my eyes and then use NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk as I always do. Following that, I take Panther by Wet n Wild and cut a fake crease much higher than my real one. I then cover the white areas that are left with sugar by Wet n Wild. Then I blend the black into the white with a clean blending brush. Take a clean shadow brush and Wild Wisteria by Coastal Scents and blend it into the outer part of my eyelid. Then I line well below my eyes with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, starting a sort of cat eye shape. Then I set it with my white eyeshadow. I go even further below my eye with my jumbo eye pencil, using it as a base for the black I'm going to use. I take a, a very flat, small brush and draw a line below my lower lid. This doesn't have to be perfect, just try to make it neat. I slowly add more eyeshadow and blend it downward as I go, then I give it a once over with a blending brush. With a liquid eyeliner, I draw a wing at the outer corner of my eye, connecting it to the cut crease. Then I line my entire eyelid to help the illusion I'm making of bigger eyes. It's eyebrow time! I sketch the shape on with a pencil, and then I set it with a liner brush and my black shadow. I go in with my liquid liner for some small details and to clean up the shape a bit. Time to do my other eye! It won't take any time at all through the mystical magic of editing. I now apply my false eyelashes and mascara.
the lips, I take a cream shadow brush and concealer number one by Coastal Scents and cover my lips with it. After that, I use a twist up pencil liner and fill in the middle of my lips. I make sure to blend it well into the concealer for a nice transition. I blend my black eyeshadow in to set the color. After that, with the eyeshadow, I start sketching black lines coming down from my lower lip. I try to make them sort of choppy and faint so that they have a more realistic messiness to them. This technique is pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Now for my cheeks, I draw a half moon shape with even more black eyeshadow, making it thicker at my ear and thinner near my mouth. Finally, I blend that sucker out. After I make sure both cheeks are even, I'm done. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in the next one.